Hey coaches, welcome to the very last day of the new coach boot camp. Today's topic is going to be pretty short and simple because we've already talked about it in a little bit of detail so far. But today we're going to be talking about personal development in GoPro. So as you know by now, one of the three vital behaviors is personal development. And this one is one of the easiest things to do, um, but it's also one of the easiest things to do too much of and not to focus on the vital activities. Um, but on the other hand, it is one of the easiest ones to just not do at all. Um, I know so many coaches that don't take personal development seriously. I, being one of them, did not take it seriously at all at first. I, that was like the last thing that I wanted to do. I would um, listen to the national coach calls for my personal development, but I wouldn't do much else. Um, so anyway, I want to tell you some reasons first why personal development is so important. Um, you know, when we first begin this journey, we are not going to be the most confident because this is something brand new that we've never done before. So um, one of the reasons why doing personal development is so important is because it's going to help you grow your confidence. It's going to help you grow that belief in yourself. It's going to make all of those bad negative feelings we get in our head about ourselves go away, all those doubts that we have, the fear of what people think about us or the fear of rejection. It's going to get rid of all that stuff. And it's also going to help us build the skills that we need to be professionals at this and to be successful and do well and be able to help other people. So that's why personal development is so important. And it's not just going to change your business, it's going to change your entire life. And I kind of just want to tell you guys a quick story about how it's really changed me. Um, since I was overweight for half my life, um, even though I've you know kept my weight off for the past four years now, it's been a tough journey. I've never believed in myself. I've never had any confidence. I doubt myself all the time. I always think that people are thinking the worst things possible about me because I was made fun of for so long by people that were my friends before in my life, before I got fat when I was younger. So because of all those things, I did not have much respect for myself and I did things that disrespected myself and I never believed in myself. Um, and I would say the first let me count in my head, seven, am I counting right? Seven months of being a coach, I, you know, I would do challenges and I would help some people, but my business was just like at this point where it was just stuck and it just wasn't going anywhere. And then I went to Danny Johnson's conference and I went because my sponsor told me that she went and it changed everything for her. She wasn't very detailed about it, but I'm like, okay, well that sounds like something I need because I've literally had an emotional breakdown, crying my eyes out, praying to God, like, God, just help me. I don't know what to do. And then that conference popped up and I went in January of this year. And it was actually Danny Johnson's first steps to success. And it does change everything, you guys. I realized that the reason why I wasn't succeeding in this, in this business, because one, I wasn't bringing God into my business. Two, I did not believe in myself. And three, I had no confidence whatsoever. I was scared to death to talk to people about things. I would still, you know, push myself out of my comfort zone to invite, which it took me a really long time to do that. Um, but I had no confidence. I didn't believe in myself. I didn't believe in the opportunity. I didn't believe in the products. I just didn't believe in anything. And I let my fear hold me back for so long. And I went to that conference and I came back a new person. I used to be scared to talk to people about the coaching opportunity. I came back from that conference and I was top recruiter twice on the national coach call. So it just goes to show you that working on ourselves and working on what's really going on on the inside is what is going to change everything. And it's made me a better person in every area of my life with my relationships with my family, relationships with friends, my relationship with God. It's changed everything. I cannot even imagine living in that world of fear and self-doubt and just all of those horrible feelings that I used to have. I used to always be so worried about what people thought about me. I thought people at my church would judge me. I was worried that people, you know, wouldn't want to be my friends once I invited them to a challenge. I came back from that conference and I realized that this opportunity is something so amazing and life-changing that I would be a bad friend if I didn't go tell everyone about it. And I know I've told you guys that before. But it's really all about the belief. That's what it comes down to. And the personal development is going to help build your belief and your confidence. Because without those two things, you're not going to go anywhere and you're going to remain stuck. And personal development is going to help you remain positive. 
I was never a positive person. I was always Debbie Downer, negative Nancy. Never saw, you know, I never had the glass is half full mentality. It was always the glass is half empty. And personal development is going to help you remain positive even when times get hard. And if you're staying negative and if you just keep complaining about where you're at, you're going to stay there because what you focus on is what is going to happen. So instead of focusing on all the bad things going on, focus on what you want your life to be like. Focus on all the good things and that personal development is what is going to build you up. And now I just kind of wanted to tell you guys different ways that you can get your personal development in. Um, of course, I highly, highly, highly recommend going to Danny Johnson's conferences. She is absolutely amazing. Anything Eric Warre, we're going to that conference next year. There's a big group of us going in November. Anything with him. Um, we're reading the GoPro book now. You guys should have already started that. If you haven't started it yet, you are not taking this business seriously and you just really need to go take a look at yourself and think about what's going on. If you're not reading that, you are seriously just throwing this away. You really are. If I would have had that book in the beginning, I tell you guys this all the time, I would have been able to probably quit my job in half the time that it took me to do it. So you guys got to go read GoPro. It's in the Dropbox. You need to go read it now. Um, some other really good personal development to read in the beginning is the book called The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson. It's really, really going to help you out a lot. Um, some of my other favorite things are listening to the National Coach Calls that are in the archive. Those are really great. And the Beachbody Online Office, um, they have a success on demand tab where you can go and listen to all kinds of great resources in there. Some of my favorites to listen to just in general would be like Tony Robbins, John Maxwell, um, Brian Tracy is another great one. You can just look all those people up on YouTube and they have tons of YouTube videos. Um, listening to other top Beachbody coaches is great personal development too. Scotty Hobbs is my favorite person to stock and he has all of his um, team calls available on his website for everyone to go listen to. I listen to them all the time. Um, some really great books, if you're kind of nervous about the whole sales part of this business, to read are some Brian Tracy books. Um, I think it's called The Art of Closing a Sale. I talk about it um, on the day that we talked about objections. That's a really, really, really great book to read that will really help you kind of understand like the psychology behind sales so that you can really help more people and not look at it as a sales type thing that's creepy. Um, I'm trying to think of what else I've listened to. Hmm, I said the slight edge. For now, I think that's enough um, to focus on getting through this training and, you know, make sure that you're working with your sponsor and coach on what other kind of personal development that you can do, but make sure that you're doing it. I know that we're all so busy. I know that so many of you guys out there have kids and you're busy moms and all that, but even if it's only five pages a day, start with that. And, you know, think of ways that you can fit it in while you're multitasking. I know Amy has a podcast on her phone and she listens to it while she's driving. I do that all the time too. Like if I'm going on a trip, I'll, you know, bring my Danny Johnson DVDs with me and listen to it in the car. Um, there's all kinds of ways you can do it. Listen to it like while you're cooking dinner. Um, you know, there's all kinds of things. If, if you um, don't listen to music when you work out, well actually, let me say this, listening to personal development while you work out instead of music might, might be a better use of your time. Um, so there's all kinds of ways to get it in, but make sure you do. Like I said, I didn't believe it in, in the beginning. I wouldn't read any books. I wouldn't go to any conferences. I was so closed-minded to all of it, and I just thought it was ridiculous. And then I realized, you know, personal development is the one thing that will help you grow your business. I mean, of course, you have to invite. That's one thing I did want to mention. Do not get wrapped up in personal development so much that you are not inviting people one-on-one -on -one because... If you're not inviting people one-on-one, -on -one, if you're just posting stuff on your page, you're not going to really have a very big business. You're not going to be successful at this. I'm just being honest. You've got to focus on doing all three of the vital behaviors every day. Um, but what I mean by personal development growing your business is if you can work on growing yourself, you're going to grow your business and result. So if you can just work on being the best you, then that's also going to help you have the best business. So make sure you're doing the three vital behaviors every day. Um, the GoPro, I just wanted, I kind of already mentioned in here, we talked about it a couple days ago with the seven essential skills. 
but make sure you're reading that, you guys. That is literally the essential steps to this business. It's all you need to know in the beginning. So make sure you do your personal development. Get it in, get it in, get it in, get it in. I can't stress it more. Hope you guys enjoyed this new coach boot camp. We really loved having you and we'll see you in the diamond on in the rough training.